Hey everyone, this is Zach from Wanhao USA, and today we're going to be checking out all the awesome upgrades made on the brand new Duplicator i3 Plus, as well as getting into an in-depth comparison of the last year's best-selling model, the Di3 V2.1. So let's get into it. The V2.1 features an external electronics housing box. This affects the area of the printer on a desktop or table. It has an area of 2.34 square feet. The Plus features a built-in electronics cabin underneath the printer. The entire electronic housing has been placed underneath the Plus frame, allowing a much smaller footprint with less visible cabling. In addition to the cabling, the Y-axis stepper motor and motion control are also located inside the electronics cabin. The Plus has an area of 1.66 square feet. The V2.1 uses two drag chains to bundle cabling. The Plus uses just one sheath flat ribbon cable. The V2.1 uses a mini SD card slot. This does not allow the use of a full-sized SD card. The Plus features a full-sized SD card slot. This allows the use of a full-sized SD card as well as a mini SD card with the use of an adapter. The V2.1 uses a filament holder which requires a plastic ring to be screwed on and off to secure your filament. The Plus features a new filament holder that allows you to just hook your filament right on. On the V2.1, individual cables run from the extruder to the external electronics housing. This means that if any of the six cables leading to the extruder need to be changed, then that single cable must be run through the drag chain and replaced. The Plus only uses one flat cable from the extruder to the built-in electronics cabin. The connection from this mini board to the electronics cabin is made via a single flat ribbon cable, allowing less cabling from the extruder to the main board in the electronics cabin. This also makes it easier to replace single components on the extruder assembly because if something malfunctions, you simply replace the component and connection at the mini board and the flat ribbon cable does not need to be replaced. On the V2.1, scrolling through the LCD menu is done via a rotary dial. Maneuvering through the menu requires moving the rotary dial clockwise or counterclockwise and push clicking selections. The Plus uses a 3 quarter inch touchscreen panel featuring Wanhao Touch a highly responsive digitizer. Maneuvering through the menu is done by simply touching your selection. The V2.1 extruder uses a 30mm cooling fan. The Plus extruder uses a 40mm cooling fan. The V2.1 extruder stepper motor is in the upright position. The stepper motor cable is plugged in from the top of the motor. The plus extruder stepper motor is in the upside down position. This means that the stepper motor cable is plugged into the motor from the bottom which semi hides the cable and provides a more clutter free appearance. The V2.1 extruder assembly bearing housings are plastic. The plus extruder assembly bearing housings are both plastic and metal. The V2.1 utilizes a Melzi mainboard. The Plus features a custom Wanhao mainboard. And that concludes our comparison of the Duplicator i3 V2.1 and the Duplicator i3 Plus. For more information about Wanhao USA, please feel free to browse our website or contact us directly at support at wanhaousa.com. Also be sure to follow us on our official Facebook and Instagram for updates on new products, contests, and giveaways.